This is John Schaefer from Iced Earth, and you're watching Spark TV Metal in Action. Spark TV Metal in Action. So hi everybody out there, you are watching Spark TV Metal in Action and today we are before the action with Ice Earth and of course with me there is one and only, I think this is the metal legend, you know, that's John Schaefer from Ice Earth. Hi man, how are you? I'm good, man, how are you? You think that you are a legend? Uh, my legion? Yeah. Uh, I probably have been a time or two in my past lives, yeah. <laughs> okay, we can see there, this is your last record. Um, of course, I have to ask you about the new one. So how it is going with uh, preparation, with pre-production of the new album? It's great. We finally, uh, we're a little behind schedule on everything, but yeah. we built a new headquarters building and it was a tremendous amount of work, but it's actually very cool now that it's, it's nearly complete. And uh, so the production started a little later, but pre-production's finished and we took a break to do this tour and um, then master tracking starts in the middle of January. Mm -hmm. Any details about uh, maybe songs or concepts? Well, it's not a concept album. Okay. <clears throat> it's uh, you know, it's the, the album is going to be called Incorruptible. We had a working title of the of the Judas Goat, but uh, but I changed that a few months back. And there's a lot of varied subject matter on on the record. There's uh, there's one big epic song about the Irish Brigade at the Battle of uh, Fredericksburg called Clear the Way. So that's got a uh, It's about 10 minutes long and has a lot of new sounds, you know, to try. I was trying to get that Celtic kind of a feel, um, capturing the Irish spirit, I guess. And so there's, for the first time ever on an Iced Earth record, there's actually some major chords happening. So that's, that's a little different. And it just happened, man. It was flowing. And uh, so that's a pretty cool piece. And then, then, you know, there's one called Black Flag, which is a, um, you know, our, our story of the pirates and, you know, uh, really telling the the his, it's it's not a long epic song but i think i was able to tell the story lyrically in a pretty short amount of time why they became mm -hmm. who they were you know and sort of betrayed by the by the crown and they you know turned into pirates and looking for the ultimate freedom kind of thing so a lot of heavy metal bands can relate to that believe me <laughs> um and then <clears throat> the, the song that we're opening the show with on this tour is called the great heathen army And that one is uh, is uh, the Viking song, and it's it's about the uh, the revenge that Ragnar Lothbrok's sons are seeking um, to re to avenge their father's death. So I mean, you know, there's there's a lot of cool stuff like that. Then there's there's songs that are um, it's a step a definite step forward. Oh, there's a song called Raven Wing, okay. <coughs> for instance, that's also has some different different stuff happening in it, but very iced earth, very. Um, to the point and back to the roots, but had, there's a certain kind of an epic thing happening in all the songs. We are very excited about this record. The whole band is, and, and uh, I mean, there's, it's, it's something special. I think it will be the third record with uh, Stu. Yes. Right. Uh, so. How is going with uh, uh, during the composing process? Are we composing together? Because I saw many cool videos that videos that uh, you were talking about him like your brother. Yeah, well, we're very close. Um, when it comes to his parts, yeah, we're we work on those together. Well, he's not really involved in the music process at all. I, I get all that prepared before before he gets there. But then we focus on his parts. You know, the vocal melodies and the lyrics. And um, and we do that together. We do it individually, depending on the song title. Um, so it just it just depends. Like he wrote the lyrics for Great Heathen Army, um, and I wrote the music for that. And it's you know we collaborate in different ways depending on the song. We have we also have a song called Brother that we wrote that's a that we wrote the lyrics uh, for that one together. <clears throat> and I wrote the music, and that one's a. Uh, You know, it, it is about the brotherhood. It's about how close we are and how much shit we've been through together. And not just Stu and I, but you know, the band. And and even though Troy stepped down recently because of problems with his with his, uh, his son's autistic, and he's you know has a lot of pressure and stress at home to deal with that. Uh, but Troy's always going to be a brother. So this lineup went through a lot of stuff around the world together, and, and we achieved a lot of great things. So uh, you know, it's it's really about our the commitment to each other and getting through the, the hardest times and, and being there for each other. So it's pretty cool. Cool. Yeah, right. Yeah, great. Cool. So uh, you were building your own studio. Is it like this? That's right. That's right. Okay. Uh, 
<laughs> it was that you were selling uh, some equipment I saw because I was checking during some time uh, your some news about the ice earth and I saw that you were selling some equipment. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, well, I have a pretty huge guitar collection. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so I sold some stuff to help pay for the uh, the headquarters buildings and to be able to do all the construction and invest in new gear and all that kind of stuff. So. Why you decided to build your own studio? It was because you need more music freedom? Yeah, I mean, ultimately, it's just another step towards independence and being able to have everything under control in, in one building. Um, a place where the band can rehearse, where we can run our business from, where we can warehouse all of our equipment, where we can uh, store the archives, you know, where we can do kind of have everything and the recording studio. So, I mean, it's a it's just a it makes life easier. It's difficult when the band is international. I mean, that's already makes it more challenging because it's not easy just to get together and rehearse. But like when we launch a tour in North America, we'll meet at Independence Hall and we'll We'll, be, we'll all stay there and then we'll rehearse and, and get the pre-production ready for the tour. The same thing goes for when we do the records and everything. I spend the, the bulk of the time, you know, months and thousands of hours by myself working on the arrangements and everything. <clears throat> It can be that Luke can send me an idea or in the future Jake will or whatever. And then I'll be there arranging and, and assembling the songs. Then I send the demos to the guys. I do very detailed drum programming and everything, and we send all the, the ideas out. Then the guys, when we get together and we play through the songs, you know, they we discuss the parts. You know, Brent may say, "Well, I'd like to play this kind of a drum part here," and then we talk about it and see if it's mm. you know, if it's going to work for what my vision is for the long. Because I, I have the vision for the the end, and a lot of times they don't they don't see that until it's actually mixed and mastered and everything's done. So, um, but that's. That's the way the process is, and just having the headquarters building makes everything easier for us to, to function as a band. Thank right. you so much, thank you so much, man. So, and everybody, stay tuned for more Ice Earth info. Stay tuned. CDčka, DVDčka, LPčka a další věci od Ice Earth nakoupíš na Sparker.cz Spark TV Metal in Action